Now question of the day, our motor determined T1, T2 if whole system in equilibrium, okay. That is 2 kg block and this one tension generated in this string T1 and in this string T2, okay. Horizontal angle with this, this <coughs> now question of the day, our motor determine tension in, in these two string T1, T2, okay, if whole system in equilibrium. If whole system in equilibrium, it means net force on that point is 0, okay. So, if net force is 0, it you can say that algebraic sum of x, this be equal to 0 and algebraic sum of y component also 0, okay. At that point, so here T1 and here T2, component of T1 along this direction is how much? That is T1 cos 60 degree and component of T1 along y axis that is how much T1 sin 60 degree. After that, component of T2 along x axis T2 cos 60 degree, component of T2 along y axis that T2 sin 60 degree, okay. Now, after that, look here very carefully. If net force along x axis is 0, it means what is the meaning of that one? T1 cos 60 this is equal to T2 cos 60. So, you can say T1 this is equal to T2. I hope so clear. Now, after that, algebraic sum of y, net force in y direction is also 0. Why? Because net force is 0. So, T1 sin 60 plus T2 sin 60 and weight of 2 kg is always work on downwards. So, 2 into g. Okay. I hope so clear. Now, so T1 sin 60 plus T2 sin 60 both are same direction. So, both are adding. This is equal to 2g. So, 2 into g. G means 9.8 meter per second square. After that, here T1 this equal to T2. So, put T1, T2 this equal to T1. So, here T1 sin 60 plus T1 sin 60. Then how much? 2 T1 sin 60. This equal to 2g. 2g. G means 9.8. Okay. Sin 60 is how much? Root 3 by 2. 2 and 2 are cancelled. That one and that one are cancelled. So, T1 into root 3 by 2 this equal to 9.8. So, T1 is 2 into 9.8 divided by root 3. So, what about that answer? 11.316 Newton. Okay. So, T1, T1 basically T2. So, T1 this equal to T2 is how much? 11.316 Newton is the right answer. Make it.